Tony D and little Joan and guest dog is here today. I don't know if you can see her. Can you see guest dog? Let me check the camera. Maybe way in the background, kind of. If I get out of the way. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. There she is. There's the guest dog. There's guest dog truffle. Uh, so this is a screenwriter's rant on Fast X because it had to happen. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pioneers books 1 through 10. Like 10 movies. 10 books. Huh? <laughs> Um, I have not been a fan of Fast and Furious. That's not to necessarily knock it, but uh, it, I think with this movie, it's clearly become like bloated and overblown. And uh, I don't know. I'm sure. I'm sure it was that way a few movies ago. I mean, this wasn't this movie about drag racing. <laughs> and it's just this giant trailer. It's three almost four minutes long it's all going to be about jason momoa versus vin diesel with appearances by every major star including uh the late paul walker apparently in a flashback uh but it's kind of cool they tie it into something that happened in one of the previous movies and jason momoa has all this and then i don't know brie larson they wedge her into it um helen mirren uh, all the people who were in it before, and then uh, uh, a few others. Uh, Charlize Theron show, shows up again. Jason Stateman shows up again. Uh, just about everybody but The Rock and uh, Idris Elba. But th uh, did they kill him? I assume they killed him. And then it all comes down to a race at the end of the movie, or in part of the movie. So I like that. I like that part of it, bringing it back to its roots. But, you know... I, 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 the, the movie just looks so stupid. Oh, John Cena's in it too. <laughs> cars with rockets blowing up, beating helicopters, tearing helicopters, doing stunts. I mean, it's just a bunch of crazy stunt movie. You know, back in the day, we had this idea for Kaboom the movie. This is kind of like Kaboom the movie. It's just an insane amount of stunts. It's kind of like James Bond without, you know, the, 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 the intrigue, I guess. I mean, I guess it's some kind of intrigue. There's there's Charlize, and they're, they're going to fight again, because I guess people liked uh, Tested Well. Let's let's put one of those scenes in it, May 19th. I'm sure it'll be a big movie. I'm sure it'll be huge. Huge. <laughs> I'm driving. Everything can be solved with driving. Uh, I respect it, though. I respect the, the sort of theme, you know, because in the Pineys, Hemingway solves all his problems with hunting and guns, and he solves all his problems with driving. So I, I, I totally have respect for the movie. I mean, it's a, it's a huge franchise. I don't know. It just, it never appealed to me. I'm not a gearhead. I like the hot chicks in it. Maybe if I went back and binge watched the entire catalog, I'd be really into it. I don't know. It feels kind of stupid to me at, at, at a certain level. It's just, just an excuse. To have a bunch of crazy stunts. Oh, Rita Moreno is in it. I'm not sure. Does she play uh, Vin Diesel's mom, I'm guessing? Or somebody's mom? Or grandma? You know, what is it going to be? It's going to be bigger and badder stunts. With bigger and bigger stars. And they're jamming in as many names as possible. Which tells me they're either at the end of the road here or they think they might be. Unless, of course, it's a major hit and then he's got to come back. Because Hollywood needs moolah. Um, hard to break this one down because I haven't watched the previous nine movies, but I'll give it a shot. So first act, Dom has got his family, his made-up family. It's not really his family. Uh, his friends, basically. Family and friends. And uh, he's got a kid, and uh, uh, all is well in Fast and Furious Town. Ah, but Jason Momoa remembers and Jason Momoa is the guy who was I don't know the son of one of the characters who was killed in one of the previous movies and so he's coming back to gain his revenge he's going to destroy Dom's family because family's the most important thing and is going to destroy it this time it's personal I'm pretty sure it was personal in like most of the other movies but okay 
Uh, so second act, Jason Momoa starts, I don't know, blowing stuff up. And they get word he's coming, or maybe it's a surprise. And during the course of the movie, uh, he tries to kill him a bunch of times, probably kills some of the side characters. I don't know. Who who wants to die in this movie? Um, so somebody dies. Uh, somebody big, I, I assume. Maybe it's, maybe it's Vin Diesel. Maybe they're ending it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it'd be kind of a downer if they ended it that way. It would be a spectacular. It'd be spectacular. I think people would talk about it. That would be a, a, a crazy way to end the series, right? I don't think they're going to do that, but I'd love to see them do that. That would be it. Would be risky because people would be disappointed, or you'd end it in such a way it looks like he's dead, and then maybe bring him back. But that that would be cheap. I would love to see him sacrifice. You know, make the heroic sacrifice. They're not going to do that, probably. Maybe one of the side... Maybe, like, Jason Statham dies. I don't know. Probably not. It's This is a real Hollywood movie. This is like... It's a mad, 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 mad world with better stunts. Um, you got to hand it to the stunt guys. I mean, it looks crazy. I like the stunts. I'm surprised I don't like these movies. I really am. But I just never got into them. They were just a little too overblown for me. Um... And I, I really couldn't... I really just don't understand who these people are. <laughs> I, I guess because I didn't watch the first movie. I just don't get it. Or I thought they were drag racers. I thought they were criminals. And they kind of are, I guess. But why do they keep getting dragged into things? Because they can drive? I, it doesn't make any sense to me. But okay. It's turned into this giant thing. I mean, again, I'm not knocking it. If you like it, I get it. There's a lot here to like. And I'm sure if I went back and watched them, I'd probably enjoy it. It's just, I don't know. I don't have 20 hours of my life to waste on Fast and Furious. It feels like if somebody could go through it and edit it for me, all the good parts, maybe. <laughs> I really don't want to see dialogue where, you know, these guys are talking like, yeah, we got we to gotta do that. We got to drive. Yeah. And that's supposed to be serious. Like if this was a fun thing, I used to like the fun version of this. Which was like the Burt Reynolds movies, and the, you know, it'd be a crazy cross country drive. I like those movies because they're just nutty and fun, and the comedy allows me to give myself the excuse to go, okay, yeah, this is a comedy. I don't care that it makes no sense, uh, or kind of not as much sense. I should say it does make a certain amount of sense, but th these movies make no sense, and they're so serious. That I guess is what bothers me. So anyhow, second act, Jason Momoa is trying to kill him. All sorts of horrible things happen. And then I guess the third act, they do a big drag race to decide who will win. And in the end, he runs Jason Momoa off the road and his car explodes and he's dead. And the end. Because Jason Momoa at some point in the race cheats, of course. John Cena is in it for some reason. Now, I kind of... That kind of turns me off. Like, uh, John Cena. I don't want to see him. Nah. Nah. I don't like to support John Cena after after his thing. Um, but, I don't know. It's, it is what it is. I mean, I don't knock it if you enjoy it. Do I? Will I go see it? No. No. If I go back and watch all the other movies. But, you know, maybe after I retire... <laughs> and uh, and I have you know nothing to do. Uh, let me watch these things and see what they are. Maybe I could watch them on like speed and a half, <laughs> get through them faster or something. I I, I just don't I I just don't know. It does it doesn't seem like they're. Maybe if I just watch the stunts, like can somebody just edit the stunts together? There's Jason Momoa doing his thing. Um. I just don't get the whole thing, really. At the end. <laughs> Look how evil he looks. And his evil, cool jacket. Is that rattleskin? Rattlesnake skin? I think so. Um, yeah, I'm just not buying it. Again, if it was a comedy, they should do a comedy version of this. Oh, that would be hilarious, right? Ooh, you could do a big parody of this movie. Oh, the guys who did Scary Movie should do a total parody of this. 
That would be fantastic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this movie, you could send up... You'd have to do a lot of stunts for a comedy movie. It would be an expensive comedy to do. Oh, I'd see that, right? What could you call it? Fast and Furious, you'd have to call it something like... I don't know. You'd have to you'd have to do a parody of Fast and Furious. I'd have to think on that one, but you, you could do it. You could do it. Yeah, that would be great because this, this would be fun to parody, right? Like the crazy evil guy. I mean, in some sense, I think these movies have kind of become a parody of themselves because the the stunts are so over the top. But again, I kind of understand why people are into them. They just want to see the cars and the stunts and the girls. It's, it's all the other scenes I can't stand. I can't stand the exposition scenes in this. And, and and I can't allow myself to take those seriously, I think, is the problem. Like in the Burt Reynolds movie, I just knew it was stupid. And they wouldn't waste much time on the exposition. It was like, oh, it's the gumball rally race. Yeah, we got to get to Los Angeles in three days. Oh, everybody's sabotaging everybody else. This is like, oh, it's very serious. Oh, this is, this is about family. Oh, people are going to die. That's important. It's a movie. It feels very much like a movie. So I guess that's why I don't like it. I don't know. I'm trying to justify my dislike of it. But I guess I don't hate it. I just I can't get into it. I don't know. Are you into this? I know. I have friends who celebrate the catalog, as one friend put it. Uh, <laughs> but sure. You know. Whatever. Fast X. It's, it's coming, and it's going to make a ton of money. And that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan, and Guest Dog. Oh, Guest Dog is sleeping. We're going to go W-A-L-K. Uh, check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for more base takes. Um, I will be at the Gill Memorial Library tomorrow, Saturday, from 1 to 3. Hope to see you there, and we'll see you in the next one.